and welcome to the 2021 GIA Virtual Showcase. My name is Kate Williams. I'm the Senior Managing Editor at GIA, and this is Michael Silhavy, the Senior Project Editor at GIA. The first selections that you heard today were excerpts from Chris De Silva's next volume of Colors, Colors 3, Piano Music for Christmas Time, Christmas Tide. Uh, and then Eurydice Osterman's Oh, What a Beautiful City. Yeah, so that was the first choral piece you heard. Uh, we're so happy to have a number of Eurydice's pieces in our catalog. Uh, this one from the African American Church Music Series. Uh, it's her arrangement of a traditional spiritual set in SATB throughout. And uh, if you've got some soloists uh, you'd like to feature, this would be a great piece to get in your folders as you're starting to get your choir back singing this fall. So. Very nice piece. Um, next up, uh, always happy to uh, see pieces from Jim and Marilyn Beery. Uh, this one is by Jim and he took that well-known text, When Our Music God is Glorified, and did it in a choral only setting. And I think that's kind of unique because most of the times we encounter that text, it's in the con uh, context of a congregational hymn but this is strictly a choral setting. Um, it would be just great for any Sunday of praise, uh, maybe in some sort of citywide or ecumenical service when choirs come together, but uh, this is gonna be a nice addition to choirs repertoires with this text focusing on why we sing. So let's take a listen to this one now. Oh, 
Te damos gracias, te damos gracias por tan gran nube de testigos. We give you thanks, Lord, we give you thanks, Lord, for such a wondrous cloud of witnesses. Que en la lucha que luchamos, la carrera que corremos, nos rodean y nos guían. Que tan gran nube de testigos. In the struggles we must face In the running of the race They surround us and they guide us This great and wondrous cloud of witnesses Ignacio e Acuria Presente, presente Ignacio Martín Baro We must fail. 
Testigos by Tony Alonso is a selection from the Latin Grammy nominated collection Caminemos con Jesus. This piece is perfect for your Novembering celebrations of remembrance, any liturgies of remembrance or memorials, uh, All Saints Day, All Souls Day. It really is a piece to proclaim that this great cloud of witnesses of our loved ones is indeed present with us now and always. Uh, this is a setting set in a Cuban uh, bolero style, uh, but it's easily accessible. So it will quickly find a home in your community and your um, most your bilingual repertoire. And next up, we have a piece by Carol Browning, and she collaborated with Christopher Walker, who provided a translation of the Pentecost sequence. So Carol has provided this ostinato mantra that is sung over and over, and the verses are layered on top of it. Um, Carol suggests that it might be uh, very suitable for use as a communion processional, but I could also see this being used at uh, confirmations um, or uh, if your congregation has a contemplative service or a service using a lot of music from the Tizay community, this would fit right in. And of course, the beauty of these type of pieces is uh, we can make them uh, as long as we need to, to cover the liturgical action, or you can just simply determine that the time is right to end it. So we love these flexible pieces. This is Holy Spirit Come by Carol Browning.
So next up, we have some selections from the Welcome Table Mass Setting by Dr. Kim Harris and by Roger Holland. We're very excited this past year to welcome Roger Holland um, onto the editorial team at GIA as he is now the uh, series editor for the In Spirit and Truth music series. And many of you will recognize that that is a music series that we have inherited from our World Library uh, family. We've been really enjoying getting to know the depth of their repertoire and really just the goodness of the people who work at World Library and the composers in the World Library catalog. Um, it's been an interesting year to get to know one another in this way, uh, but we're so much better together and we're just grateful for all the gifts that come from our World Library family. But first up, you'll hear the Holy Holy and the Lamb of God from this welcome table mass setting. We're also very excited because this is a mass setting that's included in the brand new Gather 4th Edition hymnal. Um, we're very excited about many of the selections in, in Gather, which you're going to hear more about later on in this showcase, and of course, much more from GIA coming in the very, very near future here. The unique thing about the welcome table mass setting is that each part of the mass is the text is set to uh, a different uh, spiritual taken from the African American community and I am really, really excited to get to know this setting more and more. Um, it's one of those that you really just live into so make sure you check out this setting and following that. Uh, we'll hear one of the wonderful selections from Cliff Petty in that In Spirit and Truth music series, Take Me to the Water. So here we go. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy. Oh, 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 oh,
We have I Will Seek the One I Love with a trio of fantastic contributors. First, we have that wonderful tune by Ray Fawn Williams, The Call, from his Five Mystical Songs, which has made its way into hymnals. And Dolores Duffner has provided a remarkable text for that tune. Uh, the tune has that sense of longing to it, and, and so does Dolores's text. And it's all put together by Zach Stakowski, who has taken what was once just that uh, solo and turned it into an SATB choral setting. Um, a, a beautiful keyboard part that uh, propels the tune and text forward. Um, but this is, this is just a treat to encounter. You know that tune, and here it is in a brand new way with a very fine text. So great work, Zach. Here is I Will Seek the One I Love. And we get a special treat on this one because Zach has put together something we've all become intimately familiar with in this last year, a virtual choir rendition of this octavo. So take it away, guys.
Many of you were asking for a revival collection specifically geared towards Christmas, and here we have it. So this will be perfect for your communities, your choirs, as we approach Christmas time this fall. Hopefully we'll be able to be, uh, you know, mostly in person, and so we'll get to sing together again. Um, if you don't know, Revival is a, a series of collections of music. This is the third volume in that series, but it's... Um, uh, arrangements of music that are traditionally associated with the organ, but here we have them uh, really idiomatically arranged so that they feel comfortable 
in a piano or guitar based setting. They've got instrumental parts that go along with them all and they really make some uh, new offerings of uh, um, arrangements for classical uh, traditional Christmas songs. So we're very grateful to have this next installment of the revival series. And I don't know if you noticed, but uh, back a couple songs ago, uh, the Stahowski arrangement, I will seek the one I love. It's a very special dedication line to one Kate Williams. And I think Michael just couldn't stand the idea of my name being in the book and not his. So here we have <laughs> a dedication to Michael Silhavy. <laughs> not true, not true. <laughs> uh, but why is my name here? Anyway, um, so, Krista Silva released his uh, collection, Mysterium, uh, a collection of uh, Christmas carols and his arrangements, carols from around the world. Beautiful. And Chris was um, seeking to fill out the collection and, and look for suggestions. Um, I offered him uh, this beautiful Catalonian Christmas carol. Carol of the Birds. So you'll see here it's scored uh, for soprano and alto soloists as well as the choir. And, and they do a lovely bit of word painting. You can hear the birds in this piece. Um, this melody was a very, very famous encore that the cellist Pablo Casals would play at the end of his recitals. And Chris in this wonderful nod to Pablo Casals it included a cello part for this. So uh, this is so haunting, the tune, the text, and all of these arrangements in the Mysterium collection are just so fine. And um, I just love this one. I'm happy to share it. So this is Carol of the Birds.
We were very excited this year to be able to release the latest edition of the Voices Hymnal. Um, many of you come, came to know Voices as one in the many iterations before this hymnal. Uh, and this one includes the very best of those previous iterations, as well as a bevy of contemporary music that has been written since then. Uh, not to mention the, the wonderful Mass of St. Anne that so many have come to know and love since the translation of the Roman Missal. 10 years ago already, if you can believe that. Um, one of the compositional voices that you'll find throughout the Voices Hymnal is one of my favorite, Danielle Rose. And so this next offering is from her collection called I Thirst, another gem that has become a part of the GIA family from our uh, World Library brothers and sisters. This is one of my favorite settings of the prophetic uh, words of Saint Mother Teresa that we can do small things with great love and that that is enough.
just as we are excited to show you the offerings from the World Library Catalog, part of the GIA family, so too we are with the Walton Catalog. Uh, as many of you know, uh, Walton originally uh, had its origins serving the collegiate high school choir uh, community, but now it's been such a joy to find that repertoire and to uh, let it be used in sacred settings uh, for our customers. Um, Kate, this is a piece I think uh, we've enjoyed so much that uh, we have actually done this in reading sessions in the past. I'm not sure we've done it on a reading session video. So that's why we're bringing it here today. So um, what do you want to say about this piece? Yeah, it's really one. It's just a stunning arrangement that we we have used and promoted several times throughout this last um, early tumultuous year. But it has really been one of those centering, anchoring um, pieces really speaks to the power of music and music making. Um, and so we return to it again and again. It's just one of my absolute favorite pieces of music ever. Um, and then after we listen to this piece of music, we'll have another offering from the Tu Pueblo Canta music series. And again, this is a music series really headed up by our colleague Peter Kolar, but it is to foster and uh, cultivate music from the Latino America uh, community. So um, this uh, next arranger and the composer Carlos Sapien is known uh, really in the Southwest and now nationally as well. And he has uh, presented an offering of a hymn of praise. Uh, and Michael? Yeah, and I just love the flexibility of this piece. It was conceived in that grand cathedral style with organ and brass quintet and timpani and cantor and congregation. Uh, but it also works uh, organ and guitar or piano and guitar. Um, so the scoring is incredibly flexible, suitable for virtually any setting. The piece is totally bilingual. So it can be sung, of course, in all English, all Spanish or alternating languages. And um, this is what we need. This is the future. And um, this is just that wonderful call to praise, that wonderful sense of gathering, and um, really happy to welcome Carlos to our catalog. Yeah, perfect. So here's We Shall Overcome, followed by Hymn of Praise. to be 
are following along with this virtual showcase with the uh, showcase book, um, you'll see that uh, the next page has an ad for the Gather for Hymnal, which we are just so incredibly excited for. This has been my first hymnal project to work on, Michael, and man, the learning curve here. <laughs> but it really has, like you told me at the beginning, been one of the absolutely most privileged, joyful experiences of my work and of my life. Um, I have a lot of favorite parts about this hymnal, which I can't wait to unpack with all of you as you come to know it too. Um, but, but certainly one of the things that has felt most privileged about it is just the ability to be in dialogue with uh, so many trusted colleagues and professionals as the book came together to really get a sense of, of the, the pulse of our, our music making community and inspiration about where we need to go next. Um, Michael, what are your favorite parts about it? Well, I mean, first, I think it needs to be said that I think the committee really walked this careful line of creating a book that was certainly in the gather lineage. Uh, what you expect from a GIA hymnal is there. The service music, the psalmody, uh, the ritual music, uh, texts for the liturgical year, being responsive to newer concerns that the church and world are facing and making sure repertoire uh, for those considerations are in the book. Um, early on, the first gather hymnals, that name gather was about gathering many publishers for the first time and putting them in one resource. Things evolve and now this gathering is really making sure that the contributors, the individuals are a much more wide gathering of people, which means the book itself will be much more of interest, usable, suitable to a wider array of communities. So um, it's been fun to watch the evolution of the hymnal. You said you've got favorite parts. I know one of your favorite parts is the Psalter. So you should talk about what you've done with the Psalter. Oh, the Psalter was such a, uh, an enormous but really fun project to work on. The Psalter that goes with the hymnal. So it follows the lectionary um, with, um, you know, the readings in the back of the book if you're, if you're a, a parish that uses hymnals in that way. This is the first Psalter of its kind that draws from all of our Psalter resources. So we've got the, the very famous and uh, uh, very practical, liturgically pastoral um, uh, Psalters from Michel Guimau, from Joseph Chialano, from uh, uh, the um, Ramos Cantando contributors, from the Lead Me, Guide Me Too contributors. Um, and we have, of course, the Lyric Psalter and Cry Out With Joy. And so what we've done is assessed each setting of the psalm for each week and picked um, what we think is a, a, a really balanced and solid offering of all styles in which our responsorial psalms are written within the GIA catalog and created this um, you know, bigger concept that I think a lot of music directors are doing themselves in their own communities. They're trying to find a diversity of voices um, and styles to use throughout the liturgy. So now we've got a ready-made one specifically for the responsorial psalms and it's reflected within this book. So um, yeah, please take a look at that and, and come to to you know, know some of the gifts that are in there. There are some brand new settings of psalm refrains too. Um, and I'm just I'm really proud of it. I'm excited for it. Like this is the Psalter that um, I would use. Uh, and I'm, I'm really proud of what we're able to offer. But just the whole, the whole process of creating a hymnal has really felt like, you know, responding to a vocational call. And I, I really think and hope that all of the members of the committee and all of the readers who have been a part of this project feel that way too. I know that they all take it very seriously. We've all had you know those very deep conversations where we both revel and delight in the 
the, the job that we call work. <laughs> um, but also those tough conversations about, is this really what we should be doing, what we should be singing? How should we be having this conversation? Just some of the most privileged music of my life. And so I hope that when you take a look inside Gather 4, that you see yourself and your community reflected within the book. Um, it's impossible to have a, a perfect book for all time, but I do think that this is a pretty good snapshot of the time that we find ourselves in now. Um, I, I hope uh, that you feel as seen and known <laughs> within the context of the book as, as I do, and as we know that, that God sees us and, and knows us. And I think in the spirit of that um, uh, feeling of, of belonging and being known, um, happy to introduce the next song from uh, Sally Ann Morris and Mel Bringle called You Search Me and You Know Me, a setting of Psalm 139. And I especially like the way this setting kind of reinvents also a notion of what a congregation can do in the interaction with the choir. Sometimes they're in dialogue, sometimes they follow, sometimes they take the lead. So um, thank you for tying this uh, piece into your work on the hymnal. And let's take a listen now to you search and know me, oh God. Woo! 
So the song we just came out of was Voice of an Angel by Liam Lawton. Um, Kate, this song is very well known in Ireland, in fact, all through Europe. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of fun now to introduce it here to the US. It was done at an LA Congress a few years ago. And um, we're offering it in our Simple Gifts series, uh, that most flexible of series, unison, um, two-part, uh, simple but not simplistic. And boy, you could, you could hear this with a children's choir. You could hear this with uh, a, a funeral choir, a resurrection choir, a youth choir. Um, it can be sung as a solo, but um, this series is really uh, meant to elevate simplerly scored music or, or simple music to a more uh, substantial uh, setting. So take a, take a look and listen to this and um, you can find uses for this in your parish situation. Um, next, we're going to listen to a piece by Lorraine Hess, Mercy. Uh, if you uh, have the showcase book in front of you, you'll see the upper left-hand corner, uh, the contemporary music logo. Uh, that series from World Library is turning into our new Voices series. Um, that the contemporary, the, uh, the music that bridges contemporary and, and praise and worship and ensemble. Um, and Lorraine uh, has given us this piece. Uh, if you're watching this at the NPM convention, you are in Lorraine's home state. And uh, Lorraine writes from her experience as a parish music director, so she understands how to write for an ensemble. Um, this, the, the, the title says it all. It's a piece of mercy, asking for mercy, and um, placing our trust in God, who is mercy. So happy to have Lorraine, part of the GIA family. I think Lorraine has a mass setting coming out with us. Uh, yeah, actually, this piece itself is found in the Gather For hymnal. And we're very excited uh, this year to be working on uh, Lorraine's forthcoming mass setting. I believe it's the Mass of St. Catherine of Siena. Um, so very glad to have Lorraine in the GIA family. Let's take a listen.
Okay, Michael, this is one of those pieces in the Walton catalog that when we listened to it, we just thought, how could we not <laughs> include this in the 2021 showcase? Incredible piece, Words and Music by Cedric Dent. Um, and this recording that we're about to hear is done by the Aeolians again. What a gift they have been to the Walton catalog and to us on the GIA side as we get to know them as a choir, get to know their mission, get to know Jason Max Ferdinand, who's just an incredible human being. Um, and you'll hear in this recording that there is a full orchestration available for this piece. So if you've got the resources to do that, it is there ready and waiting for you. Um, and it's also quite versatilely done with just a piano or organ accompaniment. So take a look at the possibilities here. A lot of it is simply four part choral writing, even though it sounds like much bigger, there is some Devisi um, throughout that your choir will be able to really sink their teeth into. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous writing, Michael.
Kate, you know that I adore this next piece of music, this, this little blessing by Carlton Sam Young. Um, it's been my privilege to work with Sam on a number of projects over the last few years. Sam is one of the 20th century's leading hymnologists and hymnal editors. And here he is in the 21st century at the age of 95, still at it. Um, he's given us this beautiful little blessing, choral blessing, but I can see this also being sung by a congregation. The whole thing only takes about 45 seconds to sing, and the congregation would really need to learn about eight bars of music. But uh, I'm thinking it would be fun if a congregation as a whole would be able to sing a blessing to an individual or a group rather than just the choir singing some three or four minute blessing. So um, I love this little piece. And um, I think a blessing is a wonderful way for me to end my part of the showcase. So Kate, bring us home. Absolutely, a blessing to um, send us forward. Uh, singing Lift Every Voice and Sing with this stunning arrangement by Roland Carter, which is really making the rounds through the nation. Um, I think if you do one thing this year as a music director, a music minister, it's to help your communities be able to sing this hymn tune, um, uh, you know, strong by heart with gusto. As Michael reminded me, this hymn tune is currently being proposed to Congress to become the national hymn. Um, and this arrangement really goes all out. Uh, so we're very grateful that you've joined us uh, for this 2021 virtual GIA showcase. Been a roller coaster of a year, but here we are once again, singing incredible music together, making incredible music with one another. And we're so very grateful uh, that you joined us. And as we go forward again, thank you for your trust in GIA. Thanks.